T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978 right now. I'm taking a look at Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Decepticon Stunticon Drag Strip. This is the main guy I was looking forward to for this wave, and of course it was the last one I found on the shelf. And Amazon didn't want to ship it to me. Hopefully while I was talking, you saw me put up images of what he looks like in the packaging and his QR code, because yeah, I don't have that anymore. I throw boxes right in the trash. Now he looks good. I'm gonna admit first thing out of packaging, he's just like, a big all yellow robot and I say big but not that big when I looked at him like this I was like are his legs on backward because it kind of would make more sense to me like I was like if you see more detail but this is actually accurate he was very very plain on the cartoon like damn near all yellow but at least they did add extra things to break up some of that detail and colorization. I normally cut stuff out like that, but I am not today. But what they did paint is this weapon right here. It has these on the side, which you could look at as like the ammo cartridges. And he has two of the same gun. You can take this gun, plug it to that, and then he has a double barrel blaster. Um, yeah, I guess it would only fit in there like this with the other peg out. And he has spots on the back of his legs to port them. And a spot right here. You can't really like point it up that way but nice and I see they're probably gonna be using this again though that's boring but I do like the purple on that but to look at him even more this face is spot-on cartoon accurate but the only thing bad with this head and it's, it's nicely painted is it's completely 100% hollow now I don't know what this is going to look like once it's on YouTube. It just looks like it's all black. That's something I mentioned that Hasbro has been doing. Where when they put hollowness, they make sure it's in a dark area where you can't really see it. Now, with my looking at the screen, it just looks like a black space. But with my eyes, I see the light channeling in there. So I don't know if that's what's going to be on YouTube later. But there you go. I do like that they finally gave him double set of wheels for the um, arms. And I went in there and I painted that with a black sharp because it was just yellow plastic in there because these are back on. But yeah, I like them. The head rotates. It wiggles a little bit. It's not on a ball joint, I don't believe. The arms go out to the side that much. If you put them like that, you can definitely get it all the way out to the side. Of course, you can rotate. You get more than 90 bicep swivel. The wrists don't rotate, so that's that's boring. You get rotation here. You get the legs kicked up that much. You get the legs kicked back that much. You get them kicked out to the side even more. Thigh rotation, knee joint. Bend 90 degrees. Um, this hollowness can be unattractive as well. You get that, and you can get some ankle backward. Not ankle forward, but ankle backward. Yeah, I like him. He jumps out at me as who he's supposed to be way more than the Combiner Wars one did. The Combiner Wars one just kind of looked like Mirage just yellow so I'm happy they went with a more G1 recognizable look for this dude since I have this guy out here this is the 3-0 MDLX Bumblebee here is a core class Iguanas here is a taller more 
Marvel Legends figure right here. And final comparison that I'm gonna do is Buzzworthy Bumblebee Legacy Silver Streak right there. Oh, he is kind of shorter, technically. But yeah, still great, still good. I like him. I could harp on a bunch of stuff I would want improved, like wrist rotation and double jointed knees and all that junk, but it's a deluxe transformer. <laughs> we get what we get. Anywho, transformation. We can at this point. Eh, I guess we can plug the legs together, rotate them like this. Um, I am going to lift this up, and this hinge right there needs to fold up. We can rotate the head in here. Now we can take these, lift this up, rotate this this way while the arms are still down and plug that together. You can have the arms like this. Well, actually I'm not sure if I can do that, but yeah, I can do that while rotating this. Bring this down. Well, actually, before we bring that down, we need to rotate this this way. And now we can bring this down and plug plug it into the arms right here. We can go ahead and shut these. This isn't a good satisfying plug in. It, it just stays, and but it doesn't stay as secure as I would like it. We can move the feet this way and open these up and accordion the legs into there while clipping this onto that and then shutting this. So, but you're probably gonna have to give it a good squeeze, but here he is. He is an indie racer with six wheels. Now your figure will have the yellow pegs in there making that not match the back tire so much. But here we see even more color variation and you get the Decepticon logo, which he does not have a separate Decepticon logo and, uh, and um vehicle mode, but I mean in robot mode, sorry. It can roll. And you can, of course, put the guns right here or you could give them double guns right there so there are options here's definitely what the back looks like and it has a clean bottom so yeah clean bottoms are great now this right here hmm i don't know they have the hollowness for his head you could say that's supposed to be a seat, but it doesn't transform or anything. It doesn't even look like a cockpit or whatever for a race car. Comparison. Here we are. That's a car. He is longer than Silver Streak. And when when the combined mode comes out, which basically is Commander Class Motormaster, when you connect it to the arm, it presses on that right there, which makes the bottom half separate. Reverse transformation. We're going to take the guns off right here. We're going to open this up, lift that up, and on accordion, the legs. We can go ahead and shut that, which was this. Bring the feet down separate this and we can at this point rotate the legs around now we need to push these up right there go ahead and lift this up and we can rotate this around rotate this up that way rotate that up that way go ahead and push the head up there separate this 
and bring that down. Separate this, bring that down. Rotate these. And we can go ahead and accordion this joint right here. And shut it down. And basically, if you make sure these are up, basically, he is a robot again. I like the vehicle mode, if I did say that. Only issue I had was the yellow in the tire, which I fixed myself. Uh, I like that he comes with the two weapons, and I like that they aren't transparent plastic, which is great. So, yeah. I can't wait to get the rest of these so I can have uh, more cartoon accurate, hopefully way more stable than Combiner Wars Motor, I mean, Minasaur. So, yeah. Hurry up. Hasbro. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos, click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos, click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click the chip. Go ahead and click the chip If you think you would like it